This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is 6.53, time to get you ready to take on your Thursday in the morning sprint. Esther Bauer is live, taking you inside Spokane's new innovative library. But first to Mark Peterson, tracking extreme heat and unhealthy air quality. Boy, it's out there and it's going to continue through the day. And our first alert weather, it's all about uh, heat that's been moving in, starting the day off around 73 degrees. Smoke and haze, 90 at noon, and then our high today is going to be 95. So we want you to be prepared for that. Smoke and winds, yeah, we've got it, but the wind's coming right over the forest fires and then pulling that smoke right over the top of us. We'll see that shift a little bit. We'll have more on that coming up. Breaking news this morning, the Labor Department releasing its latest unemployment report just minutes ago. It shows another 375,000 people filed new unemployment claims last week. That's a drop of 12,000 claims from the week before. The FDA could authorize a third dose of the COVID vaccines for people with compromised immune systems as soon as today. If the administration gives it the green light, it's up to the CDC's expert advisory panel to make its own recommendation on who should get the shot and what factors they might want to consider. The CDC estimates about 9 million Americans are immunocompromised. And a Johns Hopkins study found they are 485 times more likely to end up in the hospital or die from COVID even if they are vaccinated. We're less than a month away from the start of school in Spokane, and this morning we're getting a better idea of what classes will look like this fall. Right now, we know for sure masks will be required for everyone in schools vaccinated or not. Kids do not need to wear masks if they are eating or outside. Daily health checks will not be required either. As far as social distancing, the recommended amount is three feet apart in class, but it's still not known what schools will do. The Department of Health says social distancing should not prevent schools from offering full-time in-person learning. We're also getting more clarity about how extracurriculars will work. For sports, masks are required for everyone in weight rooms, including athletes and coaches, regardless of vaccination status. As for performing arts classes, all students and staff must wear masks indoors. Looking ahead today, we will get our first full look at the country's racial and ethnic makeup in years when data from the 2020 census is released. The results from the 2020 census are meant to be a snapshot of the population as of April 1st of last year. States use the information to determine legislative and congressional districts and the electoral college votes that come with them. Tropical depression Fred will continue to move toward Florida today and could make landfall as early as tomorrow. The National Hurricane Center reported heavy rain and flooding risks in the Dominican Republic and Haiti this week. Fred weakened from a tropical storm to a tropical depression yesterday, but forecasters say it could become a tropical storm again today. This is the sixth named storm of the 2021 hurricane season and the first named storm in August. Well, the high's been in the works since 2018, and now it's finally finished and ready for anyone in the community. We've taken you inside where there are artist studios. Local artists are going to be creating there, and they're also going to be offering classes. There are also meeting spaces anyone in Spokane can rent, and they're having a grand opening today from 12 to 2 for anyone to drop by and learn more about the high. Breaking news overnight, two dogs were killed in a duplex fire in Spokane Valley. It happened near University Elementary School just before 11 last night. Firefighters found flames coming from the basement of the duplex and were able to put the fire out within about 20 minutes. No one was inside the building at the time and we don't yet know what started the fire. A fire that destroyed two student houses and burned a half acre of brush in Pullman was caused by two people smoking a joint. The fire inspector says the WSU students who lived at the house on Maple Street were away at the time and two visitors were smoking a joint on the back deck. Embers fell on a nearby couch on the porch, which caught fire. Winds as strong as 30 miles an hour quickly fueled the flames, spreading it to the wooden deck and then the entire house. Those winds picked up embers and sent them to another house and set it on fire as well. Rising COVID hospitalizations are forcing several local hospitals to restrict visitors once again. Starting today, all non-COVID inpatients at Providence Hospitals in Spokane and Stevens Counties can have up to one visitor a day. No visitors younger than 18 will be allowed in and everyone else needs to be screened for any symptoms and must wear a mask when they are at the hospital. Similar restrictions are in place for visitors at Kootenai Health. Starting today, non-COVID patients will be allowed one visitor a day who must be at least 18 years old, healthy, and wearing a mask when they go to visit. Hey, we're going to take a break and check back in with Mark's final forecast coming right up.